हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल सो टुडे आई विल फर्स्टली टेल यू अबाउट वेरी ब्रीफ अबाउट वेरी लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री एंड आई विल ट्राई टू मेक इट बिट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इन द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो आई विल टेल यू व्हाट डज वेरी लॉन्ग एब्रीवेट फॉर सो लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड सो Verilog firstly appeared in early 1984 and it was invented by Phil Moby and Prabhu Goyal Till that time there was no common SDL language available Every uh, IC manufacturing companies uh, have their own local SDL language So commonly used SDL languages were ABEL LAL SD Kupal and Pala SM. You know the major problem was in verifying the logic because there was no common simulator available. Like today we have NCSIM, VCS from Synopsys, ModelSIM from Mentor, and they have huge features to verify the complex designs. so this was the first hurdle for uh, ic manufacturing companies and another thing is most of the sdl languages were supporting gate level modeling only that is designers need to write design at the gate level so that means uh you know in the beginning uh, stages of a design designers need to make a draft on the paper then they used to write the sdl code and then also you know they should be very much experienced because they need to know the complete design at the gate level and their connections unlike today because we have behavioral uh, modeling available and the last complexity that uh, semiconductor companies are facing was it was very difficult to test a logic so keeping in mind you know phil morby and prabhu goel they started exploring on the test part and it is it you will be very surprised that very log was not invented as a design language it was invented as a verification or simulation language none of its syntax was synthesizable it was used to write test cases to verify a logic although with the passage of the time it was widely spread language to test a logic and slowly with the time it becomes a design language and now it is a ITP standard so first first version of very log submitted in IEEE was very log 95 and its revised version uh, came in 2001 and then its very stable version in 2005 and most importantly mm. uh, with the upgradation of very log behavioral modeling was introduced so behavioral modeling means now designers need not to care at the gate level they can write their code on the behavioral level they should know the behavior of the circuit and it will be the responsibility of a logic synthesizer logic synthesizer is a tool or software which converts the code written at the behavior level into gate level netlist so it was a great opportunity to all the cad companies to develop logic synthesizers and now these days we have many synthesizers available from different companies 
So commonly used are DC compiler, RC compiler, XST from Xilinx and so on. Now coming to the second part of our episode, uh, like what does Verilog abbreviates for? So firstly let me tell you Verilog is not an acronym like VHDL. VHDL is V plus HDL. V is VHSIC plus HDL. So VHSIC is very high scale integrated circuit plus hardware description language. That means VHDL is a hardware description language to design very high scale integrated circuits having millions and billions of transistors and gates in it. And now coming to our question, what does very long every week for? As I already mentioned in the earlier part of my video that it is not a design language. It was invented as a language to write test cases for verification of a digital logic. So now if we combine verification plus logic it, and we are taking VERI from verification and LOG from logic and it becomes Verilog. With this I am going to close this episode. Hope you would have liked it. So if you liked my video please share it with your friends and press the like button. And for more videos, don't forget to subscribe. For notifications, you can press bell icon. Thank you.